one. So I have a super fun DIY here for you today. So I've been seeing these beautifully painted hats all over like Instagram and Etsy. And so I wanted to see if I could make a budget version for myself. So I found this hat at Walmart. It's like one of those velvety looking hats. Um, and it was $15.97 to be exact. So a really good price. Um, so I have my paints, paint brushes, my hat. I've also sketched out what I would like to attempt to paint on the brim of this hat so I have an idea of what I'm doing and I'm really excited to do this project so I'm gonna get started right now. I started out by cutting out a little sketch for my owl centerpiece. I'm definitely not a natural born artist and I didn't want to be just freehanding um, the sketch of the owl on the on the brim of the hat so what I did was um, opened up like a little doodle of an owl on uh, Pinterest and then and I opened it up on my phone um, and then I put just a thin white piece of paper over that so it kind of made like a little light box so I could just trace the owl and then I cut that out and then after I put it on the um, hat I outlined it before filling it in so the painting these hats you definitely need to go over each spot like many times over because the material really soaks in the paint so it's kind of a slow process but I, I really enjoyed doing it the whole time so if you want to just put some music on put a podcast on um, a movie YouTube video whatever you want to do um, it'll take a while but it was a fun pr uh, project I linked these hats, they were, like I said, from Walmart. Um, I linked them below and they also had some black ones and some forest green ones. Um, so they had some other colors, I don't know if there's more than that. Um, but I definitely want to go grab some other one or two more. It was just a really fun project and I think now that I know, you know, how the project went and that I could totally do it, um, I really want to do it again and maybe even do some more more intricate designs on the hats and my hat came with a cute little ribbon around um, the brim or around the top of the hat and I really liked it at first I thought I would just remove it but I realized I really liked it but I so I didn't try to remove it but I feel like you could probably remove it if you didn't want it on there I chose an owl for the centerpiece because there are a lot of owls in the forest around where I live and I'm always trying to catch a glimpse of them find them um, I hear them at night I just think they're so cool and beautiful and like surreal and so I thought an owl would be the perfect centerpiece and it actually turned out pretty cute I think um, on the right side I did some sort of it looks loosely like a fir branch which we also have a lot of fir trees in the woods around here and then on the left I chose to do some little yellow flowers which very loosely they remind me of uh, dandelions they, they look very loosely like dandelions but that's why I chose my design 